In this video, you'll learn how to enable data editing within the DevExpress Blazor Grid. The tutorial also demonstrates how to validate user input in edit forms. I've already added the grid component to the application and bound it to data. Data is fetched from the Northwind database. Here I've created context and entity classes. My grid contains several columns that display information about orders. First name, last name, title, and hire date. Now I'm going to enable data editing for the grid. Back in Visual Studio, I declare a DX grid command column object. This column displays the predefined new, edit, and delete command buttons. Then I should define grid edit form content. I add the edit form template to the markup and specify the context parameter. Then I use this parameter to access the edit model. Now I add the DX form layout component to display editors for all visible data columns. I created several form layout items and added DevExpress Blazor editors to them. The DX text box component is used to edit the first name, last name, and title fields. The DX date edit component is used for the higher date field. I run the app. The grid now displays a column with command buttons. When I click the edit button, the grid displays the edit form instead of the edited row. Here you can modify field values. Now we need to save changes to a data source. For this purpose, I implement two tasks, on edit model saving and on data item deleting. And specify them as handlers for the grid's edit model saving and data item deleting events. These events fire when users change grid data. Let's take a closer look at on edit model saving. This task requeries a data item from the database, assigns changes from the edit model to the data item, posts changes to the database, and then reloads the entire grid. The on data item deleting task is used to delete the data item from the database. To ensure correct edit and delete operations, the grid compares and identifies data items using standard .NET value equality comparison. If your data object has a primary key, you can assign it to the key field name property. For example, I specify the employee ID field as a primary key. Run the app. Now users can create new rows or edit existing rows. Our Blazor Grid supports different edit modes. You can use the edit mode property to change an edit mode. I specify pop-up edit form and run the app again. Now the grid displays the edit form in a pop-up window. The grid allows you to validate input data and display errors. It uses the data annotations validator to validate user input based on data annotation attributes defined in an edit model. For example, the employee entity class contains fields with the required attributes. The range attribute is specified for the higher date field. Now I create a new DX form layout item and add the Blazor's standard validation summary component to display validation messages. I run the app again and try to create a new row. When I type text in a text editor and try to submit the form, all the editors become marked with colored outlines. Green indicates valid values, red, invalid values. For invalid values, I can also view validation messages. Now I submit the edit form, and here is my new row.
And that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified anytime we release new content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.